Hey everyone, Scooby Doo here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Black Series Force FX Obi Wan Kenobi from Episode One lightsaber, which you can see right here. Also, too, we're going to be doing a couple of updates in the Empire Room and general discussions about lightsabers and some other stuff. Now, if you didn't already know or hadn't figured out, is when I do my videos, they're unscripted. And they're unedited, except for when I do the fading from in and out of black. But I don't actually cut up my reviews or my videos. Which sometimes sucks, because if I'm doing like a 15 minute video and I'm at, say, 14 minutes in and I mess up, I start from the beginning again instead of just editing it. And also, too, I don't use the script. So sometimes I'm just kind of all over the place. Today is no exception. I'm actually trying to put up this video as fast as I can because I have a lot of other stuff to do today. But I did want to get this out because I just got this from, let's see, I got this from GameStop. It was $149.99, which by the way, a little side note with that, and there will be lots of little side notes. Um, GameStop is a really great place to purchase Star Wars collectibles, um, depending on the area that you live in, because... There's some stuff that they sell, like, for instance, the baton that the Black Series made from A Force Awakens, which I didn't even know they made. That actually retailed for $200. Uh, by the time I found out that they made it, it was down to $100 on eBay. But if you went to the GameStop online, you would see that they were selling for $47.99. $47.99 on a retail of $199. And I sometimes go there and get Black Series helmets and stuff and they're like half the price because they just don't sell. Of course, you need to have a GameStop in your area because most of the times when they're really cheap, they, they don't ship them. You actually have to go to a store and see if they have them in stock or you can check online. So anyway, so I got this for $149.99. I didn't actually plan on purchasing this lightsaber because I have everything set the way I want it in the Empire Room. But I really liked how this one looked and I really tried to think of a way that I could display it. Also too there was um, I was reading an article where they may actually um, come out with a couple more lightsabers this year and hoping that might be the Count Dooku and Palpatine and if those come out I'm definitely purchasing those and then I actually have one more spot that I'm saving for if they come out with a brand new Ray lightsaber so we'll see in this next upcoming Star Wars movie if she has her own lightsaber, which I'm sure she will. So on to the re actual review, now that I've got most of that out of the way. Uh, actually, you know what, before we start with the review, I have a question for you guys. What's with all the stickers on these lightsabers? I mean, seriously, is, it, is this like an inside joke or something that I'm not aware of? They put so many stickers on this thing. Even, you know, here. That's the on and off. It comes with instructions, so I'm not really sure. And I buy lots of Star Wars stuff, and I, I really have to say that this lightsaber... Let me see if I can show you. There's even some stickers here. Sorry if it doesn't focus, but there's some stickers there on the top of the hilt. Um, these come with more, more stickers than any other item, Star Wars item, that I've ever purchased. And that goes for all of the lightsabers. So if you know why, like, again, if it's in, like an inside joke or something with all of the stickers that they put on this, I don't know. So it's just like uh, most, all of their lightsabers, they're 44 inches. They take AAA batteries. They take three of them on and off. Got sound. Clashing, moving around. Mostly made all out of metal. I mean, there are some plastic parts as well, but it's it's metal. It's a metal uh, lightsaber, um, which is one reason, or one one of many reasons why I do these videos as well. I'm actually going to talk about a couple of them. Uh, one, this is an FX lightsaber, and I think if you were to ask anybody on the street that didn't really collect anything Star Wars, and if you just asked them. Hey, what do you think would be a better lightsaber? An FX lightsaber or an Ultra FX lightsaber? I think a lot of people would say the Ultra FX, 
Well, of course, you know they'd be wrong because the Ultra FX lightsaber is made out of plastic and it's shorter. So, really kind of confusing there, right? FX lightsaber and Ultra, and the Ultra is actually the cheap one. So, uh, yeah, so I come up on to these videos to help inform some people that don't know a lot about collecting Star Wars stuff. So if you want a metal one, you want the FX. Now the FX series has been out for a while. Yeah, let me just show you this really detailed because it's just more, I just want to talk about lightsabers in general. It wasn't going to be like a total detail review of this lightsaber, but it is really nice. I really like this and I'm glad I purchased it. Except for all the stickers I'm going to have to take off. So here's the box that comes in. And just to show you, this is also an FX, but this is an older one. This is a Count Dooku. You see the box isn't quite the same. It's the same length and everything. But they used to make it, it used to be part of the Hasbro signature line. And now it's the Black Series. They're both FX lightsabers. Now they actually came out with the Mace Windu this year again, the re-release of it, along with the Darth Maul which I already have the FX ones for those as well, the original ones. Now, one big difference between these two, other than obviously the design and the color, uh, one, the older FX, another reason why I started doing reviews, they don't stay on for very long. When you turn them on and you want to display them, they'll stay on for about a minute to a minute and a half. And these newer ones stay on for about 15 minutes. So at least they're getting a little bit better in uh, them staying on longer, but it just that always baffled me. It still to this day baffles me why um, they don't stay on. I mean, they're a display item. They're a collectible display item. Adjust my camera a little bit. They're in a, they're a display collectible item, excuse me, and yet you can't have them on when you're displaying them. It's, it, it, it's just, uh, yeah. And being a designer, because that's what I do with my rooms, I design them, and I do the dioramas and all that stuff. Uh, my main design for these lightsabers originally was to collect all the different colors, put them up on my wall, and I was going to use them as a lighting effect. And I went through and I watched all these reviews on YouTube, and they were totally detailed. Nothing like mine where it's like, okay, it's cool, here it is. They were really detailed, talking about the screenshots, comparing them, the weight, the smell. I just, I mean, literally everything that you wanted to know, they dissected the saber. And yet none of them ever mentioned, not a single reviewer ever mentioned that they don't stay on <laughs> for display. Again, it just blows my mind that they didn't do that. So it kind of ruined how I wanted to design my room uh, as far as the lighting goes. And so that kind of spawned me into doing those videos and then doing the reviews on the uh, Hot Toys and Sideshow. And we'll get into that another time because this video could go on for literally an hour with all the different things that these different companies have done uh, that it seems like a lot of people just either don't know or not aware or don't care. But if you're a designer like me, you definitely do care. So that's one that this actually stays on for 15 minutes. The older ones stay on for about a minute. Uh, there might be a few variances. I think my Darth Mauls, uh, they may stay on for like two minutes. But the majority of them, one to two minutes, these 15. And it's been that way with all of the newer FX Black Series ones. They stay on for about 15 minutes. Uh, as far as what you get in the box, you get a display stand, which is this kind of artsy kind of display thing. You fit the saber through and it kind of just balances on this thing. I'm not really sure what the deal was with this design. Um, I'm going to leave it in the package because I'm not going to use it. But the older FX actually came with this type of stand, which actually has some holes in the back that you can, you can't really see them, but there's some holes in the back where you can actually attach this to a wall and have it on display. So I definitely like the older ones as far as the display stand goes. Much, much nicer. I don't know why Hasbro decided to change how they did the stands, but they did. So there are the stands. Now, if you want to know what kind of stands I use, I actually use the wall-mounted ones, which are Sabre stands. This is the packaging it comes in. 
And if you, uh, let's show you, that's where you get them. See if this focuses in enough. There we go. So if you want to get some ones that mount up on the wall, that's where you can get them. You can also find them on eBay, but they seem to be more expensive. It's better just to go to the source and talk to the guy that makes them. Maybe he'll give you a deal if you buy a whole bunch of them. So, uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to talk to you about about these sabers. Went over the stands. They're made out of metal. Link 44 inches. AAA batteries. Tons of stickers. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that's it for that. There's probably more stuff I wanted to talk about, but I kind of probably forgot. So we're going to go ahead and put this on display in the Empire Room, and then we will talk about some other stuff as we're looking at it in the Empire Room. So now I actually will pause the camera. We will fade to black, and then we'll come back in just a moment. All right, so now we're in the Empire Room, and if you can hear in the background, I have my Darth Maul lightsabers actually flanking both sides of my TV set. I just turned them on. Um, those were originally up on the sidewall here, and I just couldn't figure out a way I was going to be displaying it, but that's where the lightsabers were. And I moved those over, and now you can see, I'll just pick this up for a second, you can see where we have the Obi-Wan's lightsaber and I got an open spot hopefully that's going to be for Count Dooku and then right there you can see that poster that I was talking about the other day that's up up that's up up on the wall and we can see there the Imperial Guard helmet that I also did a review on last week and then I did the review on the Imperial shuttle and stuff uh, about a month and a half ago go ahead and get that set so what's been taking so long um, as you can see, I have the bridge underneath the TV. That was the same bridge that used to go across the top. And I actually had to cut that down and I'm now using it as a base. Uh, the reason why I had to do that is because on the top it was kind of sagging because it really wasn't meant to be stretched out that far. And so that's why I did that. And then the Darth Maul sabers, again, I decided to put those on the side of the TV. I actually had those cheaper sabers that I was going to be putting on there. But that's what I came up with to make the extra room for the new sabers uh, in the room. Now the only thing I'm waiting on, we'll take a look at the base. That is a book vault. That is the Empire book vault. And we'll be reviewing that later. And that's our BB-8 display that I'm actually going to be extending. You can see it doesn't now reach. Oh, and there we go. Talking about how they turn off. That one just turned off. That one might, may stay on because I think the batteries are low. Maybe I just found a trick. Putting in low batteries, but that one's still staying on. So that one should be turning off. Uh, but anyway, so the display for the BB-8, I'm going to be extending that diorama and going to be adding the fin that I did a review on. Uh, about a about a month and a half ago and let's see we're going to be doing a lot of other stuff we have the star wars wall which will kind of just turn this around now we will pick this up uh, we have the star wars wall over here we're going to be uh doing the throne room diorama which is right there and then we have that uh, Sideshow Luke, which is right there, that I did the review on a few weeks ago. And then we still have to redo the indoor shelves. And I'll be doing a weathering job on that uh, Stormtrooper helmet. And got to do work on that diorama, obviously. Going to be redoing the K2SO. He won't be staying there. That's just going to be like a side project just to do. And then we have these shelves over here that we still have to do work on. The control room with the C-3PO and R2-D2. These are some of the boxes that are still full of a bunch of stuff. And then as far as the Palpatine lightsaber, I'm hoping to... Right there we have the uh, Mace Windu and uh, Kit Fisto. I'd like to put the Palpatines right there because obviously he killed both of them uh, in Episode 3. And then, of course, you already know about the other posters. And there's our kitchen where we do our, most of our reviews. 
And our FET, you know the FET, I actually have everything to put them together. It would generally, it would really only take me a day at the most. I, I'm just, I don't know, I just am waiting on that. It's like a special project that I'm gonna be doing. And our FET Tantooine shelf. And this too also is where the life size R2 is gonna be going. And then back over here in this corner, that's where the life size Darth Vader Hopefully he doesn't block too much of that poster. I just really like that poster. I wanted to get it into the room. So there's a little bit of a update. Um, actually, no, this just stayed on because the battery's just, you can see there's no sound. Oh, there's sound right there. So I think the battery's kind of worked it. So I get, there might be a way to just keep those on. Maybe I should see if I could do some kind of wiring to them. But then again, I don't really want to mess with the sabers and stuff because I don't want to not make them collectible. Get this back up on here. So yeah, so those are the updates. Uh, basically what I was doing with the whole shelving is I was updating all the wiring and I cut down on the components that I had, that I was using because I had an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, PS4, PS3, karaoke, computer, satellite, Wii, Switch, the Wii U or whatever, I just, I had all of them. So I wanted to cut down, make it easier to get behind the cabinet if I needed to do any work. And I'm waiting, we're, I'm trying to do some wiring for the internet because I want to get the Alexa set up to where I can have her turn on a bunch of the lights and the Darth Vader when I get him all lit up as well. So as soon as I get my uncle out here, that's kind of on the hold too. I could actually work on the cabinet and wait for him to come out, but I'm kind of wanting to get all the wiring done and then finish up. So, and I do have other projects that I can work on as well. So those are the updates. If you have any questions or comments about anything, uh, feel free to leave them down below. I think the next thing that we probably will be doing is we're going to be working on the cabinets. What I want to do is I want to do this cabinet completed and then show you a step-by-step -step on how I'm gonna do that cabinet over there. They're gonna be the same. I'm just gonna do a completed one and then do a separate one for uh, filming. So there we go. I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I will try to get out some more videos. And then hopefully I'm also going to be uh, giving you guys the reveal of the new room that I'm doing or working on. If you guys haven't already guessed, I've, I've given a couple clues already, but uh, I'm going to be doing a brand new room. So, uh, yeah, see, no editing, no nothing, just yapping at the mouth. That's just kind of how I like to do my videos, at least for now. And then, ult and then ultimately, too, I'm hoping that once I get this room completed, we'll go back through all the different dioramas, and I'll actually start doing all my filming from this room instead of always doing it in the kitchen. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a fantastic week.